Elbit Systems has unveiled its Sabra Light Tank family, which is the latest offering made by the Israeli company to the Philippine Army's light tank acquisition project, replacing an earlier offer. But there is actually a reason why Elbit Systems made changes in their offer. With Elbit Systems unveiling the Sabra Light Tank system only recently, the Sabra was not in Elbit's online portfolio until recently, it appears that there were positive movements on the project that pushed Elbit to publicly announce the inclusion of this product in their portfolio. Let us discuss some of the recent updates on the Philippine Army's light tank acquisition project, as well as why Elbit Systems developed this new Sabra Light Tank system. Originally, Elbit Systems offered a derivative of the Escad 2 medium main battle tank, MMBT, and Pander 2 tank destroyer to the Philippine Army to meet the requirements of the light tank acquisition project. It was competing with the Hanwha Toker joint venture with their K21-105 track light tank and Arma 105 tank destroyer and PT Pindad with their Haramau medium tank. Elbit System's original offer used the same Odo Malara Hitfac 105mm tank turret found on the Escad 2 MMBT, but with the gun and subsystems from Elbit Systems. Elbit also integrated the Escad MMBT's turret with the Pander 2 wheeled armored vehicle to meet the wheeled tank requirement of the PAW. Meanwhile, Elbit Systems revised its offer by creating the new Sabra Light tank system, ditching the Odo Malara Hitfac turret, and developing a new turret with assistance from the Israel Ministry of Defense Israel Defense Force Merkava Directorate and a South African turret manufacturer. The new Sabra Light tank still uses both the Escad 2 track and Pander 2 wheeled armored vehicles as platforms, but now with a higher elevation arc and auto loading system that matches those found in the K21 105, Amra 105, and Haramau Montana. Despite proving to the Philippine Army that a well trained loader can beat six rounds per minute, and that having a fourth crew member is more beneficial and less risky than removing him in favor of an auto loading system, it decided to just follow according to the Philippine Army's requirement. One of Elbit System's main selling point, which apparently gave them the lead in the project, is the use of the Elbit C4 system, including the Torchex Mounted Battle Management System (BMS) and the Combat NG Fire Control and Command System, which are already in service with the Philippine Army's upgraded M113A2 and 155mm towed howitzers, and the upcoming M113 Armored Mortar Carriers and Atmos 155mm self-propelled howitzer systems. Max Defense also heard that Elbit made a commitment to add something to their offer to match what Hanwha and PT Pindad did. We do not have details, but Max Defense believes it has something to do with tank and artillery ammunition. The recent win of Elbit Systems to supply the E-Link software defined radios, which are compatible to the C4 systems installed on the Sabra Light tanks, made it even more apparent. The two vehicles will face a combination of offers from Korea Turkey, namely the Hanwha Systems Atoker JV, carrying the K21-105, chain-wheeled, and Atoker Arma 105, 8x8 tires, and from Indonesia with the Pindad Haramau Montana. To note that Pindad combined its tank offering with the Philippine Army's wheeled armored personnel carrier acquisition project by submitting an Anoa 6x6 vehicle. It seems that Elbit Systems has revised its offer from the previous using the Odo Malara Hitfact 105mm turret, because on paper, it will be unable to compete with the John Cockerell Type C3105 105mm turret carried by the Hanwha Toker JV and by Pindad. The superiority of the John Cockerell turret lies in the greater maximum bow height and the auto loading system, so that the shot is higher because it is capable of firing six rounds per minute. 
Elbit System's new turret this time around is the development of a new 105mm turret, with assistance from the Israeli Ministry of Defense, the Israeli Armed Forces Merkava Directorate, and a South African manufacturer of turrets with higher bow elevation and auto-loading systems. The company has provided its best offer and is preparing to wait for the decision of the light tank acquisition project, which is included in 2020, with an allocation of the multi-year contracting authority, MICA, worth PHP 1,422 million, or around United States dollars 29.4 million. We'll just wait for the winner's decision.